Hi guys, my name is Dave. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I use the Universal G Code Center for my X Card CNC. Once you download the program and everything, and I've got my program right here and it's just in my downloads folder. Look for the Universal G Code Center program, which I I made me a shortcut on my desktop for it, and this is it right here. So let me open it up. Once the program is opened up, you'll need to select a COM port if it's not already picked one. Mine is COM3. The baud rate, you want to go with the highest number. So then you select it. Then you, with your uh, X-Carve on, not the router, just the uh, the computer itself, the, the Adreno, click open and you sure hear it uh, kind of make like a little sound saying initiate your uh, machine. Now click on machine and then with, okay, I'll, uh, as you see in the video here on the side, I put my stock in machine and everything and I zeroed it out to best of my knowledge is it's right on zero here it's right in the corner of X and Y so now we need to do the Z and once it you know once it's in the location on your machine click reset X reset Y now we need to do the Z and what I like to do is I've got mine in inches here I'll leave one inch in here I'll take the machine back one inch and take it over one inch. Then I'll change this to like point one and start lowering my router. Now, I, you know, if I'm getting closer, I want to change it again. Point zero. What I like to use is a filler gauge. It's a 2,000th inch filler gauge. Okay, now, I'll do it. now I want to take it down. I want to just barely grab it. Once it barely grabs it, I go back up one notch. That's it. Then I can set it to zero. Now you see over here on the side, we need to put the others back. So let's change this back to one. We'll, we'll go over one and up one. And once we get a mile, we hit reset zero. Now once we hit reset zero, we can go over to file and here where we can upload a file to do the cut. Okay, now we're ready to carve. So let me down browse for the file and I named it vcarve1. vcarve1. We'll open it up. Now we need to, you know, we don't know if that's the code or not for sure, but I like to open up this right here. It's visualized. It shows you what it's going to carve. So I know for sure this is the file that I upload. So now that I'm, you know, we get to see. The yellow is the bit, and it will show you the directions it's going and everything, and you get to see it go as you do in the carving. So once we get this, you can turn on your router and then click Send. Anytime that you uh, want to, say you need to say you need to go to the bathroom and you don't want to leave your machine running, you can click Pause. You know, just make sure the router is in above the workpiece when you're doing it so it's not just cutting on something or setting there burning. And you can just leave it on pause, go do your thing, and come back. Now they have a cancel here. The cancel is, well, it does cancel the job. The only thing about it, you know, we got thousands of line of G code sometimes. And... If it's already sent that to the machine, it's still going to do it and not stop until it finishes that. 
So click and cancel does not stop the machine in a hurry. If, uh, if you got emergency stop on your machine, you don't use it for, for emergencies, uh, cancel. Um, say your bit broke or something and you know you don't want to let it cycle the whole thing you can click cancel then but otherwise um, I, I hardly ever use it but uh, I don't use the pause sometimes if I don't want to leave the machine running you know I have I have paused this thing overnight and then come back and then I unpaused it and it picked up where it was left off you know, you have to leave everything running. You can't turn nothing off and everything. But uh, that's all it is to it. I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I might make another video on this, but I think I've covered most of the bases. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys.